Hey everybody, uh, Tim from Workshop 12 here. We're just going to do kind of a quick view of what's new in version 2 for the Brainiac software. Uh, you know, it took us a little while to, to come out with it, just dealing with a lot of compatibility issues between multiple different versions of Android. Uh, the screen size changes and stuff were pretty, uh, pretty simple, uh, but the different versions of OS were, were interesting. We'll take a look at, at some of those different extra configurations, um, extra settings that you might have to do for permissions to make things work on newer versions of Android for typically for any of our gesture uh, commands for navigation. Uh, so there's a few things there. So we'll take a quick look at uh, really what, uh, what we've all updated in the software. So here we can see the main updates that we've made across multiple different versions of Android, different uh, hardware. Here we've got the Galaxy Tab 4. Um, this is the Galaxy Tab A that's going into the 370Z. We've got it even running on my phone here. That's a Pixel 2. Uh, and then I think this is a, an early Galaxy Tab uh, S that I have that's more of like an 8.9 inch. Um, everything running different versions of Android, so I think this one's version 5, I think this is version 6, we're version 9 here, uh, I think in this one is version 7 or 8, I can't remember, um, but each of those different versions of the software, everything works the same across them all, uh, everything in a portrait view, um, but we're going to take a look at the 370Z a little closer here, the Galaxy Tab A 10.1 uh, inch, because it's a newer version of Android and it'll show you some of the different permissions and things that you need to set uh, in order to get the different gestures to work and how you set it up to be your primary home screen. Uh, so we'll take a closer look at that. All right, let's walk through the process here. So I'm in Google Play, I did a search for Brainiac Launcher. We can see that we've got uh, Brainiac on here. I've got it installed on a few other different tablets. So I'll go ahead and I'll download and install it onto this tablet. Um, so as soon as you purchase it on one, you can install it anywhere. Um, so we'll just close Google Play here. We'll come back down to our main home screen and we'll see that we have Brainiac installed. So if I launch that, now I have my application running and if I have a music app open, like in this case, I've got Google Play Music open um, that I can pause and play and do any of the usual gestures that you're able to do um, with, uh, with that. So we've got our volume, we've got our next, we've got our previous uh, two finger gestures um, to make those work. Um, and we've got all those usual things working. But when I want to try to do things like use my side gestures, it's going to show me and tell me that I don't have that enabled yet. Um, now what you're able to do is you can enable or disable your screen navigation from the top of, uh, of the device, but really it comes down to settings uh, and how you have things configured. So one of the main things that you need to make sure that is configured with the system is being able to go into the accessibility and you'll see the services of Brainiac screen navigation and you want to be able to turn the permissions on for, for that. So that will allow you to do the different screen navigation from an accessibility standpoint. The other thing that you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that this device or this app can show on top. Now, depending on your tablet, um, you might be able to hit your dot dot dots when looking at the apps and you'll see apps that can stay on top or things like that. In this version of the OS, I have to go into special access and then you can see here that we've got apps that can appear on top. Now you need to make sure that this is turned on for Brainiac. So in this case, it is turned on, but you can turn on or off. So if you're getting those permissions problems, that's what's going on, is that you haven't got your permissions set up to allow those gestures to be able to go. If you're using a tablet in a car where you've got the buttons exposed and you don't want to use the gestures, you just have that uh, gestures turned off and you don't have to worry about it at all. Um, so that's one of the, the main things that you're going to want to do. The other one is depending on your version of, uh, of the operating system or what home screen launcher you have. Sometimes when you get home, it'll give you the option to make Brainiac the home screen launcher. In other cases, it, it won't. If you're not able to see that, then what you're going to want to do, same thing when we go into uh, looking at all of our apps, we're going to want to take a look at our default apps. And if I click on default apps, we can see our home screen here. My home screen is using TouchWiz Home as the default. I can switch that over to Brainiac, and now I have Brainiac as the home screen of the application or of the device. 
So if I hit home here now, then I've got my Brainiac launcher. It's home. I can pause and play again uh, and make all those different things work. But now as well, I can use my gestures to be able to go in between my settings. And we can see I still have an instance of the old Brainiac app that I launched there. I can close that, but I can move between any of my different apps. And if I hit home, I'm going back to my home. So that's the main uh, idea. So I can go to App Switcher, I can go back. If I'm in, uh, say I did my App Switcher and I went in to play music, if I wanna go home, I can swipe up from the bottom and I go home. So all of that stuff is all working the same. Also in the settings, we have our usual color selection. So you can pick whatever you want your UI to look like with whatever colors that you want in there for the accent colors. And we have put in our new relay configuration as well. So we will be having the relay driver coming soon, but you can change you know, any of these uh, labels. I'm gonna say this one's gonna be lights. Uh, I can say that I want to turn on the Relay app and now when I go back to my home I can see that I've got my switches, I can hit back to get rid of the keyboard and my switches app is now available for me to be able to turn on. I can see I've got lights for this Relay, if I press and hold then I'll turn on that Relay. So that Relay accessory and the configuration uh, or the driver for being able to run it will be coming shortly um, but I'm able to run all of those different uh, switches and apps on the device. So that's a quick walkthrough of uh, kind of the different settings changes that you might have to encounter with newer versions of Android, um, what you might need to do to turn those on or off, seeing what we've done in the software. Again, like most of our updates are really for different OS versions and uh, um, being able to handle the different screen resolutions. And then we've got the relay configuration in there. Um, so we've got uh, plans for version three that are coming out. We posted on our blog. Um, so if you wanna check out what's coming next, uh, be sure to, to check out that blog post. Uh, but for now, that's, uh, that's all we got to share and uh, we'll see you on the next video.